Hey, hello, hi, everybody. It's Brian again, and I am continuing this project of interviewing clients who are friends, people who have had very limited experience all the way to people that have worked with me for years. And I am extremely happy and excited to be interviewing Seth Green today. Welcome, Thank buddy. Thank you so much. Thanks so much for having me. It's an honor to be here. And, uh, you know, Seth is somebody that you might want to know more about anyway. He is a strategic this these words are used a lot people call themselves strategic marketers Seth is actually a strategic marketer he actually is one he doesn't just use the words and has encyclopedic sales and marketing knowledge and a very genuine heart so he's someone you might want to know more about anyway and being that my focus right now coming into this whole virus situation the pandemic and forward I really wanted to focus on sharp entrepreneurial people that have been touched by level five. Now, Seth, how many years had you been involved with personal and professional development, you know, say self-help all the way to business training, that type of stuff. How many years? 24 before, before, me, before, I, 24 before I found you. Okay. And what kind of investment in developing yourself, if you were to guesstimate financially over a quarter of a century, I, I mean, I kind of figured it out. It's $123,000. Okay, awesome. So you're ahead of the curve on that one. All right. And when it comes to the personal stuff, right? Now, I just, I slipped this one minute in. For me, there is literally no difference between personal and business. Amen. I've heard for years. It took me a long time to realize that. Yeah, and people say you got to separate it. You can't separate it. And if you do, you break yourself in half and you either die young or you get sick. So there is no, no business and personal, but in that area, like if you were to look at the deepest pains that you had, the deepest things that you most wanted to change, would you say this is true for you? And, 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 and whatever words are true for you, but this is what I hear, Brian, I did that 25 years of stuff. And the deepest pains I had were basically untouched. I was more of a positive thinker. I understood some things, but the deepest, was that, pre, is that pretty accurate? That is a hundred percent accurate. Okay. Oh, wow. Okay. And then how long ago did you and I connect? Two or three years. I'm thinking, yeah, I'm thinking two. Yeah. Probably around two or so. All right. And what was your initial reaction to me and level five you know, how did, how did you find me? And what was your initial reaction? You were actually, you found me, you were referred to me um, for our marketing services to help grow level five yep. um, post book launch um, on break yourself help addiction. Yep. And I was honestly a different person back then. I was in a, even though I claimed to be on a spiritual journey and I'm sure that I was, I was in a more negative, skeptical, fear-based place. So my initial response was, here's another guru. Um, we've marketed these guys before. They all claim to have the solution. They all claim this one thing. Their lives are not the same as what they're teaching everybody else. And okay, I'll take the money and we'll do our stuff and we'll you know, see what happens. So that was my initial assessment. Um, coming from that place. And then after I had my first session with you, I was like, oh my God, there's a total difference. I said, I feel in less than one hour, it was um, this overwhelming sense of peace that I've been after for 20 plus years that I never felt before. And I said, maybe this guy isn't like everybody else. Maybe he isn't, maybe he is actually full of the right things. <laughs> um, and maybe there's something to this level five stuff. Beautiful, man. And so if you were to look at in the last couple of years, now you and I have, we, we built a quick friendship. We've, it's, like, it's strange that we've, we've not stayed in constant contact. And then yet every That's six- That's on me. That's totally on me. Yeah. But, but, but either way, you know, every several yep. months, we would bounce up against each other. I might throw a word. You might land yep. on one of my videos. And so you haven't done like deep, intense work with me. And yet we've done a bit. And what would you say- the differences in your life, realistically, maybe two or three hours of, of, of contact. And you have, expo you have watched a couple of my videos and, and I think you read my book, right? Uh, I've read your book multiple times. Multiple times, okay. So what is different in your life as a quote person and entrepreneur? Okay, so 
we're, we're recording this at an incredible time, not just in the world, but in my spiritual development, because there's no coincidence there. Yeah. So I've had two spells, as you have called them, that had been in, ex- in my life for 30 years that broke in the last couple, couple 30 days. In the month of March, as 2020, as we record this, I had two things that I had carried with me that, that I let negatively affect me, that I had been holding on to with intense negativity and fear and grudges and anger and resentment, that one in the last 24 hours and one in the last couple, three weeks, that both broke. So my life is in a completely different place. One of the things I've noticed um, in the content I've consumed from you and in the work that we did do together is that you're, you can't split business and personal development. You're totally right. I've noticed that there have been, when everybody else is in fear and their business is closing or people are getting laid off, our business goes to a whole new level. And it wasn't because as a marketer, I learned some whiz-bang new Facebook ad or click funnel or whatever infusion soft technique. It was because I changed as a person. There is no greater lab for personal development than trying to grow a business. And there's no higher high, there's no lower low. <laughs> and in my own experience, yeah. up until this point, that is what I believed. Yeah. And I would say our business changes and transforms and ascends to higher levels every time I grow spiritually, magically the business rises to meet the new me. So we're, um, we've already had, I. I have already had a transformation because of a spell that broke in the last month and had one break literally yesterday and am so light and on air and can't wait to see what happens next. Beautiful, man. Okay, so I I have two final questions and this is like, it's such a blessing and I know other people can feel because what's coming off of you is unmistakable. And I almost wish I had a video clip of our first- Yeah, it'd be totally (laughs) different. I. I, I would look like a total prick if I'm allowed to say that on air. I, I would look like a negative scared prick because that's well, what I was. And you were. And, 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 and how could you not have been with what you went through? And, you know, here we all are just either waking up or resisting it. And you decided. Oh, I to- was in resistance even when we started working together for you would every time you messaged me, you know, every couple of months, you would drop me a line. And up until, I don't know, the last three or six months, I resisted like crazy. Yeah. Yeah. If you weren't more evolved, I would have driven you nuts. But yeah. um, finally, the poll came out, the dam broke, whatever metaphor you want to use. And your last time that you reached out, I actually felt the blessing and could receive it as opposed to trying to argue with it. Wow, man. I really I appreciate that uh, transparency and that tr- transmission that's coming off of you. So I know this is, this is going to bless a lot of people. All right. So I have, two, I have a favorite question. However, with you doing the entrepreneurial work that you do, I'm going to put this in front of it. What is your take on level five, the work that I do, this level five paradigm and the whole shift for businesses and entrepreneurs, people who want to develop business, especially during tough times. If you were, let's just say that you were doing an event, you know, and you had your whole audience there and they said, so what about that level five thing? What's the, what's the value of that to us right now? What would you say? I would say it's more valuable than ever. I would, there, there's, got to use human words, right? That's all I've got. I'm going to do something that the old me, and there's always a new me, right? It keeps changing. Literally 24 hours ago, there was an old me. Yeah. Um, 20, so I would say I'll do something the old me never would have done. I'll talk myself out of money. I would say rather invest in more marketing, invest in developing yourself spiritually and personally. I would say that will take your business to a whole new level faster than any online marketing or podcasting that we could do for you. We're now, I've literally told clients in the last 30 days, you know what? It's not going to work. Not because our marketing won't work, because of where you are and who you are showing up as right now. I've said, love your business, love what you're doing. Don't hire us. Go do some other work on yourself. And when you are in a different place, this will magically work. But right now, if I take your money, I'm doing you a disservice because you won't, even though it's not conscious, you won't let it work. That is profound and profoundly true. And I, it's really awesome that you said it. I, I get to say it less now because you've said it. <laughs> All right, and very last question. This was my favorite, Seth. 
Uh, and especially for where you're at, this is going to be beautiful. So just imagine it's two and a half years ago and there is a Seth clone, right? And he's literally just now watching this video and it's the day before you found me and he's looking at level five. And like a lot of people, he says, that's a little strange. That sure. guy's hair is long. And I, this is a little bit on the iffy side. I just don't know about this guy's book or his program or whatever. What would you say to him from your heart? God jump a hundred percent yesterday. It's pretty simple. I can't make it any clearer than that. I, yeah, I, I wish I could go back and do this sooner. Well, I did try to twist your arm a little you did. bit. Many, 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 many times, but it <laughs> speaks volumes to the amount of resistance I had that I did not let you. Yeah. My well, arm never should have needed to have been twisted. Well, you know, the, the, we're, all, we're all in fear until we're not. And when right. we're in fear, we never admit or realize that we're in fear. We just think, I don't like this, or this is you know, we see it as weird rather than- Oh, I can't tell you how many times I had the resistance. Brian's just trying to get me to come to Hawaii. You know, that's just what he wants. It, when's he going to get it? I'm not coming to Hawaii. I'm not going to Hawaii for the first time without my wife and kids. And I'm not going to see Brian. for the. If I'm going to Hawaii, if I'm getting us on an 18-hour plane, but it's a family vacation, we're not going to see Brian. When is he going to get there through his enlightened head that I'm not coming to Hawaii and whatever he wants to do, we just got to find another way to do it. Wow. That was the poll. That, that was the poll. Wow, that's, a, that's beautiful, man. Well, you know, I, I, I've never done this on any interview, and we've, we've been really quick, so I'm going to add a last piece on it. And, and I, I just trust my intuition, man. I have had, I'm, I'm guessing, probably about 40, 50 people that I've done the four days in Hawaii with. Few people have flown me to their country, uh, and I, I don't really enjoy that. Right. As as, well, as soon as you can travel, we're getting you here. Okay, and, and I'm happy to do it. And, and this thing about people, you know, coming to sit with me for, for the four days in Hawaii, I watch sometimes when I'm talking to people and they say, well, I, I heard about your four days, but, and I say, listen, you can, you can forget about me trying to sell you on that because I'd have to sit with you for four days. I will, I will do everything I can to persuade you that you can be free and happy. Yeah, and you would not have well. wanted to sit with me, Beg. I know you offered, but you would, it would not have been – you rejected me at one point and were like, you know what? Even if you want to, it's a bad idea because of where you're at. I don't want to hang out with you for four days, 20, yeah. you know, 10 hours a day. And you wouldn't want – it would not have been enjoyable. It would have sucked for both of us. So, so, you know, that resistance that people can feel sometimes, it's ironic. We were talking about that right before the interview, right? The resistance is always in me. So your resistance is always in you. We feel like we're trying to, to resist the other person, but it's, it's actually us. And I would never in a billion years attempt to sell someone on sitting me for four days against their will because it would have sucked for both of us. And I'm, it's really awesome to see the uh, resistance dissolving in you. But, but what, I, what I actually see, Seth, I don't really see, you see the resistance dissolving. What I really see is the joy emanating from you again. I see the boy that got squashed under all that emotion is shining, dude. And I know people around you are seeing it. Yes. I bet your family's loving it, man. Yes. I told my, I was in tears of joy last night when it happened. I showed my wife and she was speechless. I told my kids, I called both my parents, um, it's, it's been incredible. Beautiful, man. Well, thank you so much for doing the interview with me, Seth. I love and appreciate you, man. Looking forward to more awesomeness expanding as we go through this crazy time into the awesomeness that's waiting. Amen. See you soon, brother.